Uh, my name's Shane Apple. I'm uh, playing the father of a son of a father uh, in the film. I'm uh, playing the son of Jonathan Price. Um, of this film, being directed by Luke Lawson. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I have to say, I was, I was a fan of, of, of what Luke did before. And, and, uh, and Glenn, uh, The Boy in the Oak, which I showed in a short, sort of a short film night in Greenwich. And I kind of was really drawn in by the cinematography, really, and, and the kind of the kind of st sort of more the, the stylized approach. And it just felt like even when you're when you're talking to Luke or talking to Glenn about a piece, they're so kind of articulate and they're so descriptive and they're they're so passionate. They have so many ideas that you you kind of see that and you and sort of thinking about the boy in the oak and thinking about that, and that kind of drew me in. Really. Plus, it's, just, you know, it's a very human story. It's like a story about fathers and sons. And fathers and sons, what well, to me, are very, very important. I am looking forward to working with him. And, uh, and he's a joy. I mean, he, yeah. yeah. He's a master of what he does. And whether that's screen or whether it's on film, you know, he just has this, this thing about him, you know, which is so wonderful. I think any any form of self funding, where you're able, especially if you, I think if you're from, if you come from it, from where you've created it, and you put it on the page, and you have the idea. I think the great thing with Kickstarter is that that funding comes in. People, you know, there's a sense that everybody can own it, rather than one specific group owning it and taking complete control and changing it or demanding this and that. I mean, it's a very kind of socialist idea, I say, it's, you know, an ethos. There is that lovely feeling that as a group, as a, as a, as a you know, it's, it's kind of unity, it's a sense of all coming together and being able to, you know, everybody be part of something. So when the end product is in place, it's not just the BBC or ITV or, or this saying, this is our product. It's actually more than that. It's, and it doesn't, it's, there's no sense of I mean, the corporate idea of ownership over, over productions and the arts, which is, you know, I think it's incredibly destructive at times. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan of it. Because I think it's a story that needs to be told, and I think it's a story that's relevant to so many people, and so many, and different generations. You know, I think men in particular, particularly of that age group, there's a sense of, there's fear, you know, there's a fear about being in touch with their emotions, there's a fear with, with, uh, or a fear that they should act or should have acted a certain way. So I think it's good and it'd be lovely to think that we can make a piece which kind of breaks all those barriers really. And we see that it's all right to be in love and sad and to dance a bit. <laughs>